Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. So, you guys know I love drag racing and I love wheelies. Um, two of the combination things that goes pretty well together in drag racing, actually. Uh, remember, wheelie tunes is all about having the gear ratio and the suspension and the uh, grip all matching to the point where the car lifts. So, what better thing to get than a willy drag car okay i did one with the ford but that's actually a very slow car um, after the setup i've since been uh, tweaking it and getting better with it but here is a completely different car that is absolutely hilarious to drive because of the wild willy it pulls while still doing about a 13 uh, second flat in the horizon dragway so not bad at all let's take a look it automatically gets a 3000 RPM launch control and it actually launches pretty good off of it. Now I am out of the lane so technically people argue you lost but hey I don't really care this is more for the uh, amusement of having just a really quick car um, <laughs> that also does a two gear straight up wheelie uh, coming down the track. Now. I could probably tweak it a little bit to make it run a little straighter, which means I would be able to literally do a complete straight willy like that. Now, it might be a little bit slower running it that way because I had to short shift out of first, but boy, this thing is fun. Um, now, that's because of the 3000 RPM launch control. If anything, if I had the 2000 RPM launch control or the alternative is I can tweak um, the car's tuning just slightly on the dampening. For example, if I put it to 1.4 or even 1.5, the car will stop wheeling so bad, um, or so hard, I should say, giving me a much smoother launch. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. little bouncy on the uh, landing there. Um, that can be a time killer right there but if you uh, tweak it so that it doesn't bounce as much which I can but by doing so I also um, slightly hurt my willy capabilities but you still this this is just this car is hilariously fun with this setup um, I just absolutely love pulling wild willies while still being able to do a quick run um, all right, let's go ahead and do a full run to see what the trap speed is. Then we'll do a horizon run where it launches a little differently. Okay, that's a, that was a little bit uncontrolled. All right, so about 223, 24 mile per hour in this trap speed. And that's with a bad run. Um, obviously, if I had a full straight run, that would have been a lot better, like this. This car is great. I, I just love this thing. It's so much fun. Okay, all right. All right, let's go ahead and go and uh, do a horizon run. Let's see what it does on the festival drag strip. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do a solo with uh, unbeatable drivatars. That's what I always want to see when I see a drag tune is I want to know what it actually does on the horizon drag strip with timing. Uh, mile per hour is a great benchmark to give you an idea, but nothing tells you better than what it actually runs. I mean, we know the Lambo GTR does like 11 nines, and this thing will only do about a 13 0, so you're not going to really beat everybody out there, but for a rear wheel drive car, it is not bad at all. Okay, here we go. Notice launching at 2,000 RPM, which I believe is what the Horizon Drag Strip does for you automatically, gives you a completely different, less willy aggressive run. Uh, the car does a 252 mile per hour, 13016, and this is not necessarily the best possible tune. I'm still learning and tweaking, but let's just say that 13.0 is pretty competitive. Um, generally speaking, I've seen a lot of cars uh, run slower than that in the game, and this thing will do a nice fat willy while it's running about a 13.0, which is just plain awesome. 
I love this. Two gears with its wheel in the air. You just can't beat that. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay, all right. Let me uh, let me uh, show you guys the uh, the car setup. Um, I don't I don't mind sharing whatever I have. It's not a secret. So let's take a look here. Okay, first of all, first of all, uh, engine. I did swap to the V12. Now the V12 is one of those engines where it's pretty much making not much torque, but a lot of power once you get past that 5,500 RPM range. So that's why the gear ratio um, is pretty aggressive on this um, to get the most out of it. So everything's maxed, uh, but this is a rear wheel drive setup. You can do all wheel drive. You'll probably get into the 12s, maybe, maybe get into the 12s on all wheel drive. But um, I have a feeling the rear and all wheel drive will be pretty close with this car simply because you're not going to be able to change the power much. Uh, I actually threw in the oil cooler. Some people are against that because of the weight it adds. Uh, you know, for 15 pounds, you're getting only about six, what was it, uh, six horsepower. So you may actually want to try both ways, with or without the oil cooler. I have it on right now, but a lot of drag racing guys are against the oil cooler. Uh, rally suspension, brakes, okay, whatever else, and then drag tires with the increased width in the back. This thing runs 415 rears, pretty wide. Uh, the wheels, believe it or not, um, the factory wheels are really light, so it's not really anything you can do there. Even if you go to, for example, this is usually the lightest of the wheels you can get and as you can see it makes no difference so I left the factory wheels on because it looks pretty good with it so that's really it uh, transmission I am using the standard six-speed okay and then uh, differential I start off with a drift diff not that it makes a difference any diff can be adjusted so that's the setup um, let's see. okay now we go to custom tuning this is my current tune 4515 very aggressive gearing to take advantage of the low torque but high horsepower um, and this this actually worked out pretty good i'm not saying you can't tweak this to make it a little better but uh, this is the current ratios i am using to get the wheel to lift off um, now i did a little bit of rear toe in to help stabilize the car when it's on the wheelie and it seems to work pretty good anti-roll bars one one uh, spraying height dampening now, if you lower the height here, you can also reduce the ability to wheelie as well. So it's it's an option if you want more stability. You can increase this by another few points. It'll completely change that. Um, minimum arrow because it slows the car down. And 100, and that's it. So that is the car. Uh, I am going to go ahead and share the tune. Uh, we'll save it as drag tune. And it's not bad for a drag tune. 13 -0, it's not a bad time. There are a lot of cars faster. There are probably six, seven cars faster, uh, or if not more. But it's still, to, to have a car that can do this and um, manual launch at 3K, um, short shift first at half RPMs or so. Okay. And then you're good to go. So we'll share that. Um, I need to figure out. I think I can go to my festival to see. Um, hmm. I know I can share the share code with you guys too, but I'm not very good about finding share codes. Let me let me try to find the share code real quick. Uh, Creative Hub. Uh, I think it's mine, right? My Creative Hub. Um, and it is Tunes. And we'll find the tune for my car. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to try the uh, drag tune with the Lola as well, now that I've had some fun with this one. Wow, it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right? It is the drag tune. Yes. And we'll view the share code. And there it is, share code 684-829-796 if you want to try it. All right, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed that little video. This is one of my first attempts at a drag tune, so if you do download it and try it, let me know how you like it. 
Um, give me some feedback and uh, I will slowly play around with this car more to see if I can also do an all-wheel drive tune that may actually get into the 12s which will actually make this one of the faster cars uh, on the drag strip period. Uh, you would kind of expect a race car like this to do okay in drag racing but um, you'd be surprised at how many of them are pretty bad at it. Okay, in any case, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave feedback. If you like my channel, subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notifications when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.